Why would a company write a multi-million dollar check to a school district with no guarantee of return on their investment? Nine years ago, the GE Foundation awarded JCPS the first Developing Futures in Education grant. Last month, we showed you how it prepared JCPS students for the new next generation science standards. This month, we show you how GE's investment has impacted college and career readiness and possibly the future of our city. We're pretending to be NASA and we have to build a space, we're building a spacecraft that's going to Mercury. And they're building an apparatus today to protect instruments, which we're using ice for. With tape, styrofoam, and aluminum foil. So we're trying to see what we can do so the instruments don't melt. And we use the aluminum foil so that it would like reflect the heat away and the baking soda so the ice wouldn't melt. Newburgh Middle students apply their knowledge of thermal energy, heat transfer, and baking soda. It gets cold because the water it like mixes in. If it melts a little, it mixes in with the, the ice and it keeps the ice insulated. So do you think this is going to work? No. <laughs> This lesson could have been taught straight out of a science book in a number of ways, but Molly Duffield constructed this classroom activity with engineering principles. And it's also pushing them to think in a different way because they like to ask, is this right? Did I do this correctly? And all I can say is we'll have to find out. There is no right answer here. We're all just testing it and trying it. And that's a real world example for them that this is what engineers and scientists do every day. Don't know if it's the right answer, but I'm gonna learn something from what I've done and then revise and keep going. First the ice cube with baking soda. Classrooms across the country are seeing more engineering with next generation science standards, but they've been a part of JCPS classrooms for some time, thanks to an engineering leader. Nine years ago, the GE Developing Futures in Education grant sought to innovate instruction in the classroom to create critical thinkers. It was more than just goodwill from an amazing corporate partner. It was also good business. If, we, if we're going to continue to be a viable entity here locally, we have to be able to draw from a local talent base. The problem was a decade ago, that talent base of young people interested in science, technology, engineering, or mathematic career fields had dwindled. So the GE Foundation invested more than money, it promoted collaboration, offered operational expertise, and placed an emphasis on a curriculum that promoted a deeper understanding of concepts. Is how do you start to create the curiosity? How do you start to create um, the hands-on experience really early on? So second and third graders are getting excited about science and they expect and demand that they want hands-on, inquiry-based science. What I liked about the foundations is that the, the idea of going into and actually starting elementary and middle schools and starting to get some of the, the infusion of some of the newer ways to teach these things and make them interesting, make them fun, capture the, the eye, the heart, the imagination of a young student. Wait, but how can a student like Jacob, who loves engineering, and with a lot of hard work, ingenuity, and a little luck, might turn his excitement around a styrofoam spaceship into a career. When I grow up, I want to be a mechanical engineer because I like hands-on kind of things like we did in there. Um, but yeah, I think it's pretty fun to see if it fails and you're like, oh, it failed. Uh, learn from that mistake and try again. But as time has moved on and we fast forward to 2014, our ability to find local talent now is getting easier and easier. And that all comes from, in some part, in many small ways and big ways from what we were doing with the grant.